Hey guys, I got something I want to show you this morning. I've driven by this thing several times. I'm just up here today walking Dexter and uh, doing our thing. And I reminded myself that I wanted to make a video about this. There are some free bolt molds. Now this one here is a 45 footer. There is another one right here that looks to be about a 40, something like that, a little bit different design. This is more of like a uh, cabin cruiser pleasure boat here. This is more of like the trawler style here, trawler tug style. Uh, but they're giving these things away, and it looks to me like these molds are in pretty decent shape. And so I wanted to throw it out there because I know we got a lot of people in the boat building community around. I'm going to share this to like Seeker and some of the other places. Um, if someone, th now these are in the Pacific Northwest, these are near uh, Tacoma, Washington. Um, these boat molds here, uh, they look like they're in pretty decent shape. Uh, this boat building outfit behind me, uh, out of business here, been bought by someone else. So they don't want the molds. So they're just saying, hey, you, you haul them, you can have them. So I think that would be a really good deal for someone who wants to home build a boat. Uh, there's these molds that are just sitting right here. This thing is about 45 feet long. It looks to have a beam of about 14 feet. So uh, you, you know, you're talking probably a single screw craft from the way I'm seeing this thing set up. Um, you, you, know, you can put twins in if you wanted to, but if you want to make a nice long range trawler i mean this this would be a perfect start for that and so if someone can do the hauling come down here and get these uh, you're going to need a semi to move them you're actually going to need a semi twice uh because these are a uh, um pretty good size so there there will be a little bit of expense in moving them because they will be a tall load so you're going to need a, a the right kind of trailer to move these just wanted to step up inside it here to give you an idea of the internal volume of what this boat is it's pretty big i mean i'm i'm standing a good ways up in here right now and uh, you can see I'm 6'1", and it's not even over my head. So uh, assuming your deck height's about here, um, and you build a nice cabin house on here, you, you could make a really good-sized little craft with this. I think you'd have plenty of room in there for yourselves. And then uh, even back, uh, looks like she's got a nice shape to her. I don't know anything about the manufacturer. Don't know who this boat company was, but this is what's here. If anyone's interested, yeah, the link is in the description below. But I think that it's uh, for someone you know that's really interested in home building a boat, once a fiberglass boat, uh, this would be a really good opportunity. I'm gonna walk up here, see if there's any markings on this one to tell what it is. I don't know if this is the other mold half of that one. Uh, no, this says a 58 footer, excuse me. So this is a 58 foot boat, that one's a 45. So you can either build a 58 or a 45 with these molds that they have here. Uh, so you got two options, I guess. Yeah, there's the other half of the, uh, the one right there. So if someone's looking to uh, build a boat, there it is. Hopefully this helps someone out. I'm just going to pop some video up inside of the 58 here. Um, it's, you know, I've got a tree that's come down inside, but the inside volume on this thing is huge. I bet she's got a beam of 14 to 16 feet. It'd be just a phenomenally sized boat. Yeah, you got a 58 foot here, and then you've got a 45 foot there. So you got two boats you could basically choose from if, you know, some home builder wants to get their hands on these. I, I think it would be a phenomenal opportunity for someone. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> 